Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to connect a Minecraft bot to a localhost server using Mindflare in Python. And before we get started guys, there are two main requirements we need to make sure we are meeting. The first is having Node version 18 or newer. You can check which version of Node you're running by typing in node space dash dash version in your console just like so. We're going to press enter there and you can see that I am currently running Node version 20 which is the latest as I'm recording this. And that is of course newer than version 18 so I'm okay there. With that, the second requirement is having Python version 3.10 or newer. You can check that by running pi space dash dash version, just like so. That's going to display that I'm currently running Python version 3.9, which is not version 3.10 or newer. But no worries, guys. If I run pi space dash zero, this will list all my Python versions on my machine. And you can see I also have version 3.12, so I'm perfectly fine with that as well. Now we're quickly going to clear our console by running a CLS, pressing enter. That's going to clear it, and it'll unclutter it for us for when we want to run the bot. As you may know, Mindflare is a JavaScript library and not a Python library. So in order to make use of it in Python, we'll need to make use of a JavaScript to Python bridge. We do that very simply in Python by importing our functions that we require that we would normally use in JavaScript from the JavaScript Python library. With that, we can then require or import our Mindflare library from JavaScript, and then we can use it as we would any other Python library. Next up, we want to create our bot. This is done very simply by doing mindflare.createBot and then passing all the parameters for said bot. Now let's quickly go through these parameters, the first of which being the username. This is the name that will show up above the bot in game. For this example, I've set it to simple dash bot. Next up, we have the host, which is the server IP for connecting to a multiplayer server. But in this case, we're connecting to a local server. So I have it set to localhost. This is also the default, so we could completely remove this if we wanted to. But I think it's handy for tutorial purposes that you guys can clearly see that we're connecting to a local host. With that, next up, we have the, our port number, which I'll skip over for now. But I'll show you just in a moment here why that is needed. Next up, we have our version that our bot will be using to connect to the server with. Now, by default, Mindflare will guess the version. In often cases, this will correctly guess which version to use. So if you're using a 1.19.4 client, it will correctly guess that the bot should join using a 1.19.4 instance. However, it is important to note that on some multiplayer servers that accept a wide range of versions, you may want to explicitly set a version that will work with your features. Last but not least, we have our hide errors parameter. Very important. By default, this is set to true. This will hide a lot of errors from us while we are working on the bot. We don't want to hide those errors. We want to be able to see all of them so we have set this to false i do this with all my bots it makes them a lot easier to work on and i suggest that you do the same with that one tiny last bit of code here that we need for our bot to work there's one minimum required event for every bot that is going to be the login event now we have simply put pass in here which just means don't do anything really so when it logs on it won't do anything it's just going to log on before we head on in we actually have to set up our logo server so i'm going to open a client and show you guys how to do that all right, now you can see I have a Minecraft client open running on a single player world running vanilla 1.19.4. We're going to press escape, click open to land. We're going to set the game mode to creative and allow cheats to on. This is where our port number comes in. With that, you may remember one of our bot parameters was setting a port number, which in our script is set to 3000. We just want to make sure that we have the same port number here. So I'm going to write 3000, click start land world. You can see here in chat, it says local game hosted on port 3000. Now going back to our script here, we're simply going to type in py space and then the name of our file that our bot is written in so in this case it's going to be 01-simple-bot.py we're going to hit enter go over to a client here and you will see the bot will join on our server and you see right here in chat it said simple dash bot join the game and then we can see in game we have our bot with the name simple dash bot with that, down in the description, I will attach a GitHub repo where you can find all of this code used in this tutorial. In addition, I will put links for downloading or updating Node.js and Python versions so that you meet the requirements for using this bot. If you have any suggestions for future bots, please leave them down below and I'll make sure to take a look at them. You will also find in the description a link to my Discord where you can ask questions for running your Mindflayer bots. You can also leave suggestions for future bot tutorials. Cheers.